today I'm going to talk about speed painting. Speed painting. Uh, when I say speed painting, uh, the, the speed paints in these videos, they're around 20 minutes each. Well, they actually are 20 minutes each. And in the context of speed painting, my goal for this video was to compare the lasso tool to the brush tool. All right. However, at the end of doing like 16 or so paintings, comparing the two tools, what I realized was that I wasn't comparing the, just the brush tool and lasso tool anymore. I was actually comparing different types of painting methods. Painting methods. Essentially what I was doing was that I was comparing the lasso every shape, then brush it, compared to the uh, actually just brush it method. As you can see, when I do these images, the process that I use definitely influenced the result. Um, here's, a, here's another two paintings. On the left, we can see the lasso version, and on the right, we can see the brush version. Which one do you like better, by the way? Uh, if, you, uh, if you chose the right one, or the one on the right, then uh, you, uh, you have the same opinion as the majority of people. You have the same opinion as the majority of people. And I do think that's interesting that some people prefer A and some people prefer B, but the majority do prefer B. I'm assuming because there's like more details or you can tell what's going on a, a little more. Again, so the process of me using lasso tool versus brush tool influences the result of the, uh, these final paintings. Um, however, the fan favorite is not always consistent. Just because I use lasso tool or just because I use brush tool doesn't mean everyone is going to always pick A or B. So in this case, which do you like better, A or B? Let's have a zoom up uh, in A. You can see like these edges a little bit more crisp. And in B, you know, I sacrifice those crisper edges, but I feel like the interior details are kind of nicer. Um, obviously this is arguable, but uh, which one do you like better, A or B? And uh, if you are like most people, you would have chosen A because, yep, I think the, the crisper silhouette is something people enjoy. However, I personally, I like B, uh, so it's, it's person dependent too. The moral of the story there is then, okay, lasso tool is not necessarily better than brush and brush is not better than lasso, yep, yep, yep. And it's just a tool for defining shapes and edges. So, so let's talk about that a little bit more in depth. Um, in this quick little demo, I make the, the same shape with two different tools. So, so here you can see me doing like this rectangular shape with the lasso tool. It takes four clicks and then a fill, and that's how I get the lasso tool compared to the uh, the brush tool. When I make it, it's I just I just make one stroke and it's it's done. It's so much, it's like a faster process. I think it's great. And although those two shapes look the same, I guess the point of this experiment was to say that you know they they still kind of have do have a different vibe or a different feeling when actually painting. Do have a different vibe or a different feeling when actually painting. So going a little bit further on this demo, I did the same painting twice uh, with an apple. The first one I used the lasso tool, and the second one. One, I'm using the uh, the brush tool and you can see in the brush tool it takes me so much longer and even at the end I honestly uh, and looking at these apple two apples side by side I do actually prefer the lasso one because the shape is just clearer it's not like um, and it looks like the brush strokes are a little bit more like decisive however when I do a more complicated scene like this a and B you can see that uh, A is a lasso, B is brush. Um, a, I have less time to like play with color or add these, I guess, extra noise. And so for these reasons, uh, which one do you like better, A or B? If you're like most people, you would have chosen B. I think that's due to the color and the uh, little bit of jitter that B has in the in using the, the brushes. Because when I paint with lasso, it just takes so much more time because I always have to make these decisions for every single shape. And it's like click, 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 fill, click, 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 fill, click, click, fill. Um, versus the brush is like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so which one do you like better, A or B? If you're like most people, you would have chosen B, yep. Yeah, there's a pretty big difference, yeah. Crazy. Okay, what about this one? I did the exact same one again. Uh, which one do you like better, A or B? And uh, if you're like most people, you would have chosen B. This one's really interesting for me because the results are actually pretty kind of split. I'm assuming people who 
didn't choose B feel like it's too like jittery um, and people who chose A just think it's easier to read like maybe the girl's face or something. Uh, what about this one? A, B, C or D? And A and B, A is lasso, B is brush. And I think this one made me really understand something. And that's, uh, it really doesn't matter the tool that I use, but just how it's being applied. And in this case, A and B got the same amount of votes, but in C, what did I even do in C? Oh, now I remember. So okay, in C, I did like the two-tone thing and then filled it. And honestly, as a general read, um, A, B, and C, they're just, they're just like the same image to me. Um, so yeah, let's keep going. A or B, <laughs> this one is, this one is so obvious. No one's gonna choose A here because he, because one, A is less readable than B because in the reference image, I, it's hard to understand the, uh, in space, all the shapes that was, that what was going on. But also in A, there's just less things going on. So it looks worse than the color as well. And yeah, B is so much better in that case. Yeah, And you can see me paint it and it's like, even though I'm not actually 100% sure of what's going on in this image, I can still like kind of fadangle it or like try indicate. Whereas in A, because the lasso tool is like more solid, um, it becomes harder for me to fadangle and everything has to be a little bit more precise. I'm actually thinking like, okay, where does this top of the uh, umbrella market thing extend to? And I know it's not right, but then it's hard for me to fill it if it's not right. So these these kind of things happen when I when I use the lasso tool at least. That's uh, they, those are all my examples and and I've always actually really wanted to learn to speed paint. Sometimes art just feels so daunting. Um, that I feel like it's gonna take a long time to do something, but if I do a speed paint, there's zero expectations whatsoever. And so zero expectations, zero disappointment, and I just have a good old time. Have you ever tried speed painting before? It could be fun. Um, it's actually helped me to learn to normal paint. So like uh, the other day on Discord, someone posted a reference like, hey guys, like paint this forest. And I painted the forest in an hour and I, I think it looks okay. And then I just add in like uh, a little bit more and touch up in this character and like, hey, I think this is actually getting to pretty legit. So yeah. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. Peace.